Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on my video today. We all have people we are inspired by, whether they look like you, act like you, or some other form of representation, right? We all have people that we look up to and just admire. Today, this look is inspired by Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. Um, she's one of the characters that I identified most with um, in my late teens and early 20s, and still to this day, if I'm being honest. Um, I love Elle Woods, always have, always will. Um, she's just been amazing to me um, as a character. I just love her development. So today we're going to do a look based on her. Of course, that means a extreme amount of pink, um, but we're going to keep it we're going to modernize it a little bit. Um, it's going to be pink, but not Pepto pink um, for a lot of it. Um, so I hope you come with me on this journey to um, transform myself into a modern Elle Woods. So first things we're going to do is I'm going to put a bit of concealer on my eyes to help the eyeshadow stick. So I'm going to take my Maybelline uh, Instant Age Rewind Eraser. And um, I already have it clicked up a little bit. And I'm just going to grab my mirror here. And you'll see just the smallest hint of it right here. Um, and I'm going to put this on my eyes. Now, this will help, like I said, help the eyeshadow stick and help um, cancel out any redness or anything that is on my eyes. So I'm going to put that, um, just put the lid back on that and blend it out. Now, you can blend it out with a brush, your finger, you know, kind of however you want to blend it. I'm just going to use this um, Ulta Cosmetics. Uh, brush and it's from their friends collection as you can see it has a lobster on it which I think is really cute and I'm just gonna blend that across my eye into the inner corner and just get it all over my eye just like that and same for the other side and just blend it all the way up to the brow all the way down to the lash line in the inner corner here all over and yes, we are doing eyes today first. Um, it's easier for me to do it that way sometimes, sometimes not. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take this Urban Decay Kristen Leanne palette. Um, she is the um, owner and um, genius behind Arctic Fox, um, and which is a company I love because they don't test on animals. Their hair color is really fun to experiment with, and it's um, vegan and cruelty free. So I'm going to take the lightest shade in this palette which is called Lucy. As you can see I have used it a lot. Um, so I'm just going to take that and I'm going to set my brow bone with it. So I'm just going to take it right here under the brow and actually I'm going to set my whole eye with it so I'm going to set all the way down to the um, no actually I think we're just going to keep it at the brow bone. I was going to set the whole eye look with uh, the whole eye with it but no, because I want it to be sticky for the other uh, colors to stick to the lid. So we're just going to put it right there and blend it slightly into the crease. And I'm going to come back to this palette later. But for now, that's the only color from that palette we're going to use. Now I'm going to take the Disney Designer Collection with ColourPop. And I'm going to take the palette Midnight Masquerade, which I love. And I'm going to take the spinning wheel shade, which is a beautiful blue to pink reflect. And um, so I don't know if you can see the reflect on there very well, but it looks kind of champagne-y and then in blue and pink in certain lights. And we're just going to pop that on the lid. And yes, I'm using my finger for this uh, shade. It just works the best that way. And see? Beautiful. Beautiful. And I'm gonna put some more on the other, on the same finger, just the other eye. And make sure to get it all the way in down to my lashes. And then, and this shade is just so soft and blendable and beautiful and it packs a really, really nice punch, especially when you have other colors going into the crease. Next up, I'm going to take a slightly small and flat-ish kind of shader brush. Actually, no. I'm going to take a very small flat shader brush. And I'm going to go into the color called Enchanted, which is kind of a warmer pink. Or you could do Damsel as well. That's kind of a more mauve color. 
I might go in between the two to kind of neutralize uh, this pink color a little bit and make it a little more cool toned because I do tend to like a bit cooler toned pinks. And we are just going to gently go into the crease with this combination of shades and then just kind of bringing it out as well and just kind of gently going and then go back and forth in between the two shades, top off the excess, and then still just kind of lightly drawing in the crease. And I'm not bringing it too far in, I'm not bringing it too far out, just trying to keep it local to the crease. And then we are going to take that fluffy brush again that had the, the shade we set our brow bone with, and we are just going to blend that gently. Just blend. Because we don't want any harsh lines, we just want it to look beautiful and effortless. And if you wanted to do this look with more neutral tones, you can totally do that too. Um, if you wanted to do it cool tone look, you could do that as well. There's no right or wrong way to do this look. This is just how I prefer to do it. And then I'm going to take the middle shade between those two colors, and that's called Pip. And that is kind of more of a neutral, it's kind of in between those two shades, it's more of a neutral brown. And I'm going to take that on this big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to kind of go in with it. Because this is not a very dark look. It's going to be a very daytime friendly kind of look. Um, something you could wear to your office. Um, something, you know, if you want, no matter kind of where you work, this look would be accepted. Um, so yeah, that's always, that's always nice when you can have a really fun and really inspired makeup look that, you know, you can wear pretty much anywhere. You could wear it on a date night. You could, you know, wherever you, wherever your life takes you, you can pretty much wear this look. Now I am going to take a little bit more of the shade spinning wheel and just clean that up a little bit because I can see where some of the crease color got on it, you know. And I want to make sure that's nice and just snatched. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do, we're going to move on to foundation. That's as pretty much as dark as we're going for the eye look. Two, three shades, you know, whatever you're kind of feeling to help, you know, make you comfortable. That's all you need to do, really. So, for foundation, first we're going to do primer. I have two different primers here that I'm going to use. It's the Tula Skin Care... Uh, face filter blowing and blurring and moisturizing uh, primer and I have a sample of this um, that a friend got from Ipsy and gave it to me and I actually do love it um, so that's kind of cool and you just I'm gonna have to take the little stopper out because mine is almost empty and um, so I'm just gonna get some out on my finger here about that much and then just go ahead and pop that on and blend it in so let me get the top back on that so it doesn't go bad and um, then blend this in I really love how moisturizing it feels. It feels beautiful on the skin. Highly, highly recommend. And it smells good too, which is always a plus. And, um, and it's very, very moisturizing. Which with someone with combination dry, well, more normal to dry skin now, used to be very oily, um, but more, and then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Um, I, I had the Mint Melt Primer when it first came out. And the Mint Melt Primer feels very different from the Power Grip Primer. Um, the Power Grip Primer feels a little thinner, a little less tacky. 
I still like it, but not as much. Um, so, yeah, if I could tell Elf to keep one or the other, I would tell them to keep the mint milk. I know that's kind of a controversial thing, but it's just my hot take. <laughs> um, it's still pretty tacky. Like I said, it just feels a little thinner, a little less tacky. Um, it could be I got a hold of a bad mint milk one. I, I don't know. Now, found. Now, for foundation, I have a couple of options that I could use, okay? I have the Lottie London uh, Velvet Skin Tint, which I love. I have, I've been recently retesting out the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse makeup. Um, I like it, but it's a little bit lighter coverage than I typically like, like and it's a little bit um, more matte than I tend to like too, which is a little odd. I mean, it is a matte mousse, so it does live up to that. Um, and it does break down on my skin. Um, so especially if I'm sweating, so I don't love that. Um, I have the NYX Total Control, uh, drops, and I like these as well. They do add a ton of coverage, and I especially like them for adjusting the shades of foundations that I have. Because I tend to be, especially in the winter, I tend to be the lightest shade possible. Um, summertime is a little easier to find my shade. I can even go up like a shade or two. Um, but in the winter it's very hard, so I really love these, uh, NYX Total Control Drops. And the other thing I have is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream that I also love. Um, this is, uh, just really good coverage. It's decent coverage. It's, uh, pretty long wearing. Um, and I, I just all around like it. So... Today, I think for the look that I'm going for personally, I think I'm going to use the Lottie London uh, Velvet Skin Tint, and I do really love this. It's a squeeze bottle, so I just take and apply some to my finger, and then I go directly to the skin. And I just kind of put it everywhere that I feel like I need a little extra help and coverage, which is definitely around my nose. My nose hates to take any type of product. And um, I only do like maybe that much kind of on the forehead. My forehead's really not a problem area for me. Um, I do have a little bit of a spot there. And um, I just put... I basically paint my face like a two-year-old <laughs> um, to get the coverage that I want out of that. Um, now you can blend it in with a brush or a sponge, whatever kind of suits you. I think today I'm going to use the Real Techniques, uh, uh, I think it's the Expert Face Brush, and um, it's the Rose Gold version. It was the limited edition version. It's the Brush 300. And I love this brush for blending in liquid or cream products even. Um, it's just so good. And it helps maintain the coverage of products. And just blends in beautifully. And it has a weighted handle, so that feels really nice. And I'm also, you know, going down my neck and across my nose, just getting all of that blended in. And this also tends to dry uh, down, not super quickly, you have time to work with it. And then just blending to my hairline. Trying not to get my brows in the hair, but you know. When you have a small forehead, it's hard not to get your brows into everything. <laughs> okay, now. And that just has a very natural kind of sheen to the skin. Um, you can powder it. It takes powder really, really well. Um, in fact, I do powder this foundation 98% of the time when I wear it. Um, I may today, I may not. It, it depends. Um, Next thing I'm going to do is because I have a little bit of a blue circle under my eyes at the moment, so I'm going to take a more yellow toned concealer. This is LA Colors Ultimate Cover, and I'm just going to put that right in here to help color correct that blue. 
and I'm just gonna blend that in with the same brush we blended in the other concealer earlier and then that dot it was enough to do pretty much my both under eyes but I wanted to make sure it stays covered so I'm just gonna pat it in with the brush and go all the way under my eye um, because it also helps, yellow helps to brighten, and it also will help clean up that outside edge of that uh, eye look, too. And just kind of pack it in. And look at how much difference that made. And the, not only the eye look, but the overall look of the foundation as well and just blend it in and voila you could leave it there if you wanted um i'm gonna now if you see something up with your eye look that doesn't look quite right you want to fix something you know you kind of want to add a little something whatever it is you can always go back and do that if you need to, I don't advise doing it too much because it can ultimately ruin the look you're going for. But, you know, if something needs to be fixed, by all means, fix it. It's just makeup. It's easily fixed and there we go. Look at that. Look at that. Already. 10 out of 10. Now... If you are unhappy with the color match of your concealer, you can always go in with a top concealer that matches a little closer. And I love this um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind because it is just so um, light. It has good coverage, but it's a light feeling concealer, so it doesn't feel like you've weighed down your under eyes. And I'm taking a clean brush. This is the Expert Concealer Brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just going to blend that in just ever so gently just blending that concealer in on top of the other one um, and again you can use a brush you can use a sponge you can use your fingers even if that's more your thing it's just kind of whatever however you feel like you need to blend it in and I like going over my concealer with a sponge just to make sure it stays where I put it. And especially after I've done it with the brush and it just helps get rid of all the little brush marks, brush dorks. And see, my face is pretty much 90% dry. It's still a little tacky, so you could put powder on at this point if you wanted. <clears throat> I'm going to take a bigger, fluffier brush and just kind of run over the eye just to kind of see if it needs anything. I think because I'm not really happy with the, the depth level of this right now, I think I'm going to put, I'm going to put New Dream, this kind of purpley, pinky color, um, just ever so slightly in the crease. I'm going to mix it with Enchanted. And just kind of mix those two colors and get right in here with it. Now this is gonna pinking it, yeah, it's gonna make it a lot pinker than what it was before. So if you are not someone who really enjoys bright colorful looks, this step might not be for you. Now if you're someone like me who does enjoy that, the then that'll just add some fun to it for you. And then I'm just gonna blend that out and smoke it out a little. And 
There we go. I like my eyes to be dynamic because I think eyes are meant to be looked at. I love looking at someone's eyes. Now I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Eyeliner in black and I'm going to line the upper lash line and I'm actually going to wing it out quite significantly. And look at that. Suddenly the color doesn't matter so much. Okay, um... The other side as well, and then... It doesn't matter if your wings aren't perfect. I find mine never are. So I just do them however I feel like doing them that day. And it seems today I wanted to go really, really extreme. But it looks good, so I'm not going to be, you know, no reason to be upset. <laughs> Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in with our brow product. And this is the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift. And this is the shade Taupe. And we are just going to color in the brows as we already have kind of the shape. You can't tell it, but yeah, my eyes, my eyebrows are, I have a lot of hair, but they very, very light. So you can't tell I have brows till I draw them on. <laughs> and so we're just gonna draw on here. I like to get the color all in the hair like that. And mine has broken, so we're just going to try and fix it as best we can. So, and then I just brush my brows through just to make sure everything is looking nice and even and beautiful. And there we go. Beautiful. Now, if you wanted to clean them up and have them look less natural, you can always do that with concealer. I just like to leave them looking natural. I think that looks best on my face. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to set with some powder. And this is the Makeup Revolution uh, Loose Setting Powder. I have it in my old Maybelline Fit Me powder container. And I'm just going to pat this on. Blow off the excess and just pack it on. And see... You can see how it slightly mattifies, but not completely, and I love that. I love this setting powder. 
and it just helps take down some of the tacky feel there we go beautiful and if you want coverage to go a step further you can always use the elf camo powder foundation this stuff is not a joke i am telling you there i've got the shade fair uh n20 and oh great mine's broken <laughs> i didn't realize but this stuff the coverage on it is no joke i'm serious it's fantastic and i just got that all over my sheets yeah because i'm filming on my bed ah oh, so fun okay next up is blush so blush you can do anything i have the physician's formula argan wear natural neutral blush um it's Again, it's kind of broken, but it had a little hot pink flower. That's what that looks like in the center of it. You can use that. You can use um, pretty much anything you want as blush. I'm going to go start out with this. I also had a cream blush, but I like powder blushes. And I'm going to start by putting that right there on the cheek. And I love blending it up towards the... Um, towards my temple and that's how I use blush okay I've even at some points used lipstick as blush um, because especially if you have a certain shade of lipstick that you want to wear and you have no colors of blush that kind of match that vibe lipstick as blush is fantastic now, if you need to blend, take your powder brush and go over it and blend it. Okay, next thing we're going to do, going to readjust the camera here a little bit. Okay, so next thing is mascara. Got my eyelash torture device here. And curl. Done. And... That one I don't think got all my lashes. There we go. Uh, uh, this eyelash curler is a little bit big for my eye shape, but it's the only one I have, so. And then I'm going to use the Maybelline Last Sensational Sky High Mascara. This is one of my favorites. It makes my lashes look so long. Of course, it, you would be able to tell a little bit better if I wasn't having, like, a huge eyeliner moment, but... Um, the other side. Okay. There we go. And now for lips, I have two different lip options. I have Revlon Cherries in the Snow, which is a gorgeous pink. And then I have this, the Cream Shop Watermelon uh, color that is also kind of a warmer pink slightly, but it's still gorgeous. So what I'm going to do is layer the two. So I'm going to put on the cream shop first. And dude, this color is fantastic.
and it's beautiful and you could leave it there if you wanted but because I'm me and I'm extra I'm gonna also put on cherries in the snow on top And the two together are just going to create a gorgeous pink. And there you have it. Oh wait, we forgot a step. We need highlighter. So I have two things that could, um, I have two different highlighters. I have, um, Seen From Space, uh, Space Cosmetics, and then I have the ColourPop, uh, Super Shock Cheek and Smoke and Whistles, and this is a very pinky champagne color, so this is the one we're going to use today. And I'm going to use, um, this Ulta Beauty brush from the WandaVision um, set and I'm just gonna stipple this on I'm just gonna get my brush in there and I'm just gonna blend that on and look at that beautiful shine see look at look at that look at that shine you can't tell me that that's not gorgeous and here we go Gonna do a little there, a little right there, maybe a smidge in the center of the forehead, just to... And there we have it. This look inspired by Elle Woods and all her pink glory is done. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope it was fun for you as it was for me. And have a great night.